Okay, and uh, welcome to the lab. Now, the lab which is now looking uh, far more labby because these new uh, lab power supplies I've uh, found and fixed up. So they are very nice. There'll be more about them shortly, perhaps on my main channel. I do know. Now, the uh, main point of this video and the reason uh, it is on my second channel is this thing. So this is a preview video because this thing is not working. And the main point of this uh, video is to get advice on this thing. What this is, is a 1986 RM Nimbus AX, which is basically a server uh, for a Nimbus network. Being used in schools and other educational institutes. One of the main joys of this is the fact that it's got a Winchester hard drive in it. I don't know where Winchester is. Well, it's a very early drive. Uh, this one has 20 megabytes, I do believe. Now, it does have a few issues, which is the reason I'm making this video, so I can get advice. So, to the top off. You've seen this in an unrestored state, apart from getting some dust off. I've done no work on this, cosmetically. Right, inside we have all the gubbins. I'll just take the camera off to show you. Uh, I'll, I'll be back because I just got the sun all turned out. Right, I'm back. So, what we've done, ow, there's a tray attacking me. Ow, right. What we've got in here is a 286 with these huge video card and networking cards and all sorts. Huge transformer. The size of that bugger. Let me get something for comparison. Uh, there we go. No, that's not. Uh, okay, a Mega Drive 32X cartridge. Yes, that's just one big transformer. Now, transformer is, as far as I'm aware, not the issue here. The issue is capacitors and for change solid state ones now I think some of this may have been self-induced but I'm not sure now what we did we powered it up I'll power it up for you in a moment and you'll hear it and uh, one of the capacitors blew on this expansion board so I thought maybe I've been a bit naive here but I thought well if I take the capacitor out it should just knock out the uh, expansion board which is not in use so I did that I took it off Maybe that was a silly mistake, I do not know. Then the second one went down here, just <laughs> smoked. So I took that one off. So, the third one blew on the motherboard down there, which I'm hoping is not too far gone so I can still read what it is, because I have no technical documentation for this. Uh, I'm hoping that somebody watching this video might have some technical schematics, but I will be getting that motherboard out. And the plan is ooh, the plan is to get rid of this expansion board. It's not in use. Uh, perhaps replace capacitors on that another day. But if my removal of those capacitors has caused this capacitor here on the motherboard to blow, because these all went in sequence, and it wasn't until I physically removed one capacitor that the second one went and the third one went. So what I'm hoping is, if I remove this expansion board, didn't realise initially it was an extension board, but it does sit on top of the motherboard there, as you can see. If I can remove that, replace this capacitor in here, hopefully it can boot. Now at the moment they, I've got the motherboard unplugged, so when I power it up it's not going to cause any more damage. The second question is about the drive itself. It's one of the questions, the reasons I'm asking. If you can see down there, I don't know if you can see clearly, but the, the Winchester drive is, where is it? Hiding there behind these ports. In fact, if I go around the front, you'll get a better view of this, but oh, it's a bit dark down there, but there we go. There's the Winchester drive itself. It has, there's a floppy above it. It's a uh, large early drive. And it's making some uh, strange noises, which for all the world sound like a head crash when it boots up. But once it's booted, 
uh, it seems to sound like it's reading. Now, if this drive has crashed, as far as I'm aware, these systems uh, boot off the floppy, off a standard DOS disk, well, nearly DOS disk. So what I'm hoping is, if this has gone, we can still run the system from the floppy. So, that's my ideas. I will just boot up now to uh, let you hear the joy after this one here. There we go. And you can all hear. Let me get some advice on this bugger. Okay. So, here goes. There's the head crash sound, which goes on for a bit longer. But then you get that little second where it sounds like it's actually reading the disc. So, I don't know. But hopefully if that has crashed, we can still boot it off floppy. If I'm right, I've not been misinformed if somebody can advise me on that. Also advise me on theories about the mother particular expansion board off fixing the capacitor and perhaps getting the motherboard going uh, if this does turn out that this drive has crashed uh, what I intend to do <coughs> is take it out, take the top off and perhaps use it as a uh, little ornament, demonstration model and uh, yes, power it up now and again just to show people how they work so, that's the RM Nimbus AX which is in pretty poor condition but there is hopefully some hope for it so if you can let me know be appreciated thank you very much